Hello my dear students now we discuss about discuss de broglie wave first of all welcome all now in this session we discuss about de broglie wave what is de broglie wave the wave associated with material particle in motion are called matter wave or de broglie wave and their wavelength is called de broglie wavelength the waves associated with material particle in motion are called matter or de broglie wave and their wavelength is called de broglie wavelength what is de broglie wave the wave associated with material particle in motion are called matter or de broglie wave and their wavelength is called de broglie wavelength as we know that even our h nu and also we know that even our mc square as we know that even our h nu as as we know that even our mc square so it is the equation 1 and this is the equation 2 so from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 h nu is equal to mc square as h nu is equal to c by lambda is equal to mc square 1c and 1c is cancelled each other so h nu h by nu is equal to mc or lambda is equal to h by mc as c is the velocity of light so we replace c is equal to v so h by mv as we know that the product of mass and velocity is called momentum so h is equal to lambda over our h by p so three equation is comes lambda is equal to h by mc equal to lambda is equal to h by mv and equal to h by p so lambda is equal to h by p over our equal to h by mv this is the de broglie wave equation for material particle the de broglie wave in that wave the material particle in motion are called ya yeah, the subatomic particle associated with matter wave associated with matter is called matter wave or de broglie wave the wave associated with material particle in motion are called matter or de broglie wave and their wavelength is called de broglie wave length even our h nu is equal to e mc square from 1 and 2 h nu over our mc square as h lambda is equal to c by lambda is equal to mc square one c and one c is cancel each other so h by lambda is equal to mc as lambda over our h by mc or h by mp or h by p or lambda is equal to h by p is equal to h by mp this is the de broglie wave equation for material particle now de broglie wavelength of an electron of kinetic energy as we know that half mb square is equal to kinetic energy or v over 2k by m and lambda is equal to h by m v at the place of h by m 2k by m and we know that h by root under 2k if we move the m inside the square root so we squaring the m and then after m the numerator and denominator is cancel each other so h is equal to m 2 m k the de broglie wavelength of an electron of kinetic energy now de broglie wavelength of an electron associated through a potential difference b de broglie wavelength of an electron accelerated through a potential difference b kinetic energy gained by the electron is equal to half mb square work done on electron is equal to ev ev is equal to electron volt so kinetic energy gained by electron is equal to work done on electron kinetic energy 
gained by electron is equal to work done on electrons so lambda is equal to h by m b so h m as the place of b 2 e b by m and h is equal to 2 m e b we place the value lambda is h is equal to h is equal to h is planck constant is value is equal to 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second m is equal to mass of electron 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg e is equal to charge elementary charge value of elementary charge 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb we put all these value so 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 34 by 2 into 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into v where v is equal to potential difference after simplification we obtained 12.3 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter by root under v as the as we know that 10 to the power minus 10 meter is equal to 1 angstrom so at the place of 10 to the power minus 10 meter we write angstrom so 12.3 angstrom by root under v it is called de broglie wavelength now this is your last class in dual nature of matter in the next session we start atom and nuclei till them goodbye have a nice day thank you